Morning all, it's time for the annual cocaine festival here in the UK. So I thought this would be the perfect time to get outside and try and do a few things with my Celica GT4. Now, uh, most obvious thing that's happening to the car, uh, the, uh, the wheels have come off because they are being refurbed. What color am I having them refurbed? Well, wait till the end of the video to see. Now I did give this car a bit of a gentle clean the other day, just a very, very light one, but, um, well, you couldn't really tell anymore. In fact, it's, I've, I've, wow, this is a serious frost. Like, it hasn't actually snowed for a couple of days, but it was insanely cold last night, uh, as I'm sure everybody in the UK has been telling you. I'll show you a couple of cool things about the car. Now, um, first off, one of the reasons I got the car, um, I talked about the way the previous owner looked after it. Um, there's good things, there's bad things. Um, one very good thing, it has new uh, discs and pads all round. Uh, very, very good ones. Um, Carbotech or something, I think. Um, it also had an oil change just before, and they even used a TRD oil filter, which is quite cool. Um, but less good is the fact that the car does seem to be leaking a bit of oil in the engine bay. Um, I'll try and show you guys that bit in a while if I can. Now, here's where my video might just get derailed because um, there's no remote lock and unlock in this car, not yet anyway, um, and I do rather want to get in it. So I have no idea if this is actually even going to work. Okay, and oh, sounded good, sounded good. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, okay, that's, um, right, uh, off to go and get some de-icer. Now I do kind of hate this stuff, but it is a necessary evil sometimes. But it's a good idea, a bad idea, I don't know how I'm going to start the car and get it warm. Now, this actually looks so much nicer in here. So, um... I spent some time yesterday in the dark uh, hoovering out and cleaning out this interior. Now most of the, the, the dust or dirt or whatever you can see is actually snow or ice. Now with that in, this interior starting to look way nice. So just all the dash needed was just a wipe down because it was just dusty. I'm going to put that side carpet in as well. Also I fixed the horrific looking shift lever which for some unknown reason had been wrapped in some horrible horrible nasty stuff so that's way better now um i also found out this car does have a cup holder which i didn't think it did it's a very well hidden one and whether it's going to work or not i don't know but yeah so ha huh. anyway let's um have a look under that bonnet and i'm gonna show you my oil problem so engine bay okay things that i want to sort um this obviously heat reflective coating whatever i don't know whether it actually does a job or not i don't know um but it looks awful that is going to come off and and behind you see that the, the just the charge color is just there nice and black so i think you just sort of filed this down and sort of repainted it that would actually be okay so at some point when the car gets some work done i'm gonna have the charge color taken off and re read all of this to make this look nice and, and neat and tidy um it's the same over here like it's got all this sort of you know McLaren F1 style kind of weird wrap on it. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this down here annoys me slightly but appears to be a pretty common thing on the ST205s. It's because of this bit of strip here. Again, currently frozen. Um, now, a few people have also pointed out that I am missing an alternator snorkel which is then used to uh, to help cool down the alternator which does apparently get rather hot at the moment. I'm not really worried about anything um, overheating. So, but what I am more concerned about is down here. Now hopefully you can just kind of make that out. Um, but you can see there's some oil has pooled down there. Now, just above is this little heat exchanger kind of thing, like exactly what it does in the engine. I kind of have a rough idea, but I'm not gonna I'll make myself sound like any more of a fool than I have to um, by trying to tell you guys what I think it does. Um, so it could just be that there's just a gasket and he's replacing it. I am told I have a spare gasket with the car to actually do that job. So it might be something that gets done at the same time. I also 
would like to um, repaint this. So paint that in a nice sort of proper black or, or something. Um, get that looking a little bit tidier. Um, and again, just this, this heat shield here. It's just, just, I mean, it's just not looking perfect. Um, so it's just covering you know, part of the turbo. Um, so yeah, I, I, don't, I don't ever want to put like a front mount intercooler or anything on here. I kind of actually quite like the, the top mount set up. Um, I'm glad I've got the extra big radiator. So um, we have some stuff on the way already for the car. So on the way already is a replacement projector headlight to fix the crack one. Um, we have a replacement front bumper and we even have replacement wings are on the way. And then the whole front's gonna get painted because these are need painting and this is need painting anyway. So I'm gonna do the bonnet at the same time. And then next job after that will be to get the proper wing on the back. So that's gonna be quite a lot of fun. So um, I also need to work out what to do with this um, monstrosity. Um, as you can see, it's kind of just marking this, and it's probably why some of the bumper has cracked and crazed. So, I have some tame exhaust people, so I might see if we can get something just made up just at the back so it just doesn't look quite as hilariously silly. Um, very typically, sort of JDM style, but uh, yeah, I don't want that. And then at some point, I'd love a, a, a rear diffuser. It's got on the back here as well, so I'm gonna build my perfect car out of this, no matter what. And the next item on my to-do list, which was bugging the hell out of me with my car, was this seat. Because, uh, okay, now the, this lovely Recaro is up for sale. Um, I have had a lot of interested parties, but none have taken it yet. However, it is actually a very, very nice thing to sit in. But, big problem I had was that on this side, it wasn't staying still. It was moving around quite a bit, so I thought, right, let's take the take the seat out of the car and see if we can see uh, what's gone wrong. Um, it would appear that before I even started filming proper, I may have fixed the issue. Now, exactly what the problem was, I'm not sure. Now, uh, this cable, which is obviously the uh, seat belt uh, light cable, um, had got jammed in there. That might be incidental. What had also happened was this, which is the little spring that uh, basically keeps everything in place and then releases the seat. So when you when you pull up, or in this case, obviously the orientation is all screwy, push down on the seat release, that happens. And um, this spring had detached itself, so it wasn't doing uh, what it should, which means that this couldn't work properly. So, um, this is actually fixed now, which is um, lovely. So that was easy. And a few days later, my wheels arrived. What color did I go for? Ta da! I want to say a big shout out to the guys and girls at Wicked Wheels for doing an ace job. Uh, don't worry, they just don't look perfect because I've kind of put them on, haven't cleaned them, sorted them out. The car's not really been driven since he's went back on, so I do need to give it another quick clean. But I am very happy to say that now I've cleaned it, now I've got the wheels on here. Actually, today was the first time I looked at this car and I really smiled. Like, I actually, I'm like, yeah, this is what I wanted. So I'm gonna get this front end sorted out, get that big wing on the back. She's gonna look good. But before I get any of the cosmetic stuff done, there is something else that's gonna be happening to the car and I'm gonna be doing that at the end of February. So we'll see you next time. But there might be a video in between then. Bye-bye. <laughs>